The British may have left the Indian subcontinent more than 65 years ago, but some traditions have stayed behind. Across Pakistan, bagpipe bands are a regular fixture at formal occasions. And while the unique sounds of the instrument may conjure up the chilly moors of Scotland, it's here in Sialkot, a major manufacturing city located on the dusty plains of Punjab province where the legacy thrives. More than 100 factories produce bagpipes here, an industry which began in the 1920s when a trader from Glasgow came to explore whether the city was a possible outlet. Bagpipes are big business in Pakistan. Export of the traditional Scottish instrument is part of a nearly $7 million international trade. A trade Farouk Ahmed's family has been a part of for three generations. His father founded the Imperial Pipe Company, which produces 200 ebony and rosewood bagpipes for global buyers every week. Our pipes are very popular. We send them as far as Scotland, China and Australia. Not only is the quality great, it's also very affordable. A Scottish-made pipe costs around $1,600, while those made by Ahmed retail for $400. His son Ibrahim is part of a new generation of Pakistani bagpipe enthusiasts. While not an easy instrument to play, <laughs> this is not easy, this is not easy at all. In Sialkot alone, there are more than 20 bands. Pakistan's bagpipe industry thrives against the odds. Chronic power shortages, a spiraling economy, and a Taliban and Al-Qaeda linked insurgency has crippled many businesses. But it appears none of that has been able to silence this historic and lucrative trade. Imtiaz Tayyab, Al Jazeera, Sialkot.